Now we'll move on to discuss levers and pulleys. In the human body, the muscles are attached to bones, and this allows for lever and, in some cases, pulley actions. The skeletal muscles produce movement by contracting and exerting force on tendons, which in turn pull on bones. When producing a body movement, the bone acts as levers and the joints act as a fulcrum. A lever is acted on by two different forces, the resistance to movement, which is the force to overcome, and the effort to move the load. The origin and insertion of the muscle affords mechanical advantage. As the insertion point of the muscle is far away from the load to be moved, this allows for powerful movement by skeletal muscles. The anatomical levers in the human body are divided into three classes. We'll begin by discussing a first-class lever. In a first-class lever, the fulcrum is between the effort and the resistance. This is depicted in the image on the right side of the slide. There are only a few examples of first-class levers in the body. In this example, the tricep muscle, which produces the effort, to move the lower arm, which is a load of the resistance. The elbow is the fulcrum. A second class lever. In a second class lever, the resistance or load is located between the fulcrum and the effort. The action is similar to a wheelbarrow. There are only a few examples of this type of lever in the human body. Due to the arrangement of this class of lever, a small effort can balance a large weight. In a third class lever, the effort is between the fulcrum and the resistance. This is depicted in the image on the slide. This is the most abundant type of lever in the human body. In this example, the contraction of the deltoid muscle represents the effort. The shoulder joint is the fulcrum, and the barbell in the hand is the load. There are also anatomic pulleys in the body. Similar to a rope on a sailboat which raises a sail by passing over a pulley, Tendons can perform similar functions through muscular contraction. However, in the human body, the pulley is represented by a bone or a bony surface that changes the path of a tendon as they pass over them. The knee joint is an example of a pulley, when the quadriceps muscles produce extension at the knee. As the quadricep muscle moves the patella in one direction, the direction of the force applied to the tibia bone at the tibial tuberosity, where the patellar ligament attaches, changes during the extension movement. 